I've been following uh, this uh, UN climate conference that's been happening um, in Scotland, and, and that is running through this week, and there's a big contingency of Oregon lawmakers and leaders that are heading to Scotland to participate in this climate conference. And so we talked to Representative Earl Blumenauer of Oregon today for his take on what he hopes to address at that conference, and he says he's looking for specifics and not, quote, vague promises. I think there ought to be a sense of urgency. Representative Earl Blumenauer says he already knows what discussions he'll be involved in when he meets with world leaders at the UN Climate Conference. We're seeing movement now on legislation that's called carbon border adjustment to be able to make it harder for countries to export polluting products. He says it'll be important to learn together and move in tandem. I have legislation that would make it harder for illegally harvested timber land to produce commodities uh, that end up on our grocery shelves. Senator Jeff Merkley, Governor Jay Inslee, and Governor Kate Brown are also attending. It helps demonstrate that we're in the game, uh, that we're having Northwest solutions to Northwest problems. And there's probably no place in the United States that had more devastating climate impact than we had this last summer. While Blumenauer and others remain committed to that process, there are still other leaders in Congress who sidestep the question. We've had freezing periods in the 1970s. They said it was going to be a new cooling period. And now it gets warmer, it gets colder. That's called Mother Nature. Uh, but the idea that hurricanes or wildfires were caused uh, just in the last few years is just fallacy. But many say the science is clear. The rise in global temperature is caused by humans putting greenhouse gas into the atmosphere. Blumenauer remains committed, pointing to a number of provisions already secured in the infrastructure bill to move the process forward. Uh, we'll be working to reinforce our initiatives uh, with the infrastructure program with uh, uh, energy uh, uh, production credits. It has a number of long-term objectives. We've been fighting for years to have polluters pay to clean up the toxic waste like the Superfund site that's in the Willamette River. We've worked hard to be able to make it easier for people to burn calories instead of fossil fuel with bicycle reforms like Commuter Act, e-bike tax credit, And so a lot of Oregon and Washington leaders heading to Scotland for that conference. And that will wrap up Friday, November 12th. Reporting live in Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.